Hey guys, welcome to a new video and today I am going to try to do a hairstyle from a period that I haven't tried before ever, I think, and that is the 1830s. The 1830s were wild, guys. Not just hairstyle-wise, but clothing-wise as well. They had the gigantic leg of mutton sleeves. It was a very extravagant time period, but of course, the most striking thing to me personally is the hairstyles that the women wore at the time. So today I thought I would finally try and recreate this. I never dared to do this before because I wasn't really sure how to go about something like this and then I realized that I will in fact just need to make a hairpiece because I am pretty sure that's what they would have used. I don't think this is all real hair. So that is what I did and that's actually where I'm going to start this video, making the hairpiece. Before we get started I'm just going to show you the finished thing. I have it in front of me right here. Ooh, there we go. It needs a little bit of work um, as I attach it to my head, but we have our typical loopy stand-up shapes here. I'm gonna show you how I make this first and then I will come back and attach it. For the base of the loop you will need some kind of material that is sewable but stiff enough to hold itself up as well as some hair extensions. So I am using this felt because it was the best thing I could find. A horse hair or buckram would probably be better, easier to hide and work with and more historically accurate, but felt works just as well. So I'm going to be covering this up with some hair extensions and I'm using some old clip-ins of mine, so I'm just taking off the clips so that I can use it a little bit more easily. So I'm wrapping the strip of hair extension around the edge of my felt piece and then I'm going to sew through the band to make sure this is all securely attached to the felt. So then I'm going to take a little bit of pomade, I'm using some petroleum based pomade here which I am going to spread all over this hair, both sides, to make sure that it is a little bit more stiff, uh, doesn't move as much, don't get any flyaways and that the hair looks nice and shiny. So I'm just combing this out to make sure that the hair is as spread out as possible and then I'm going to go in with my needle and thread again and just sew the hair in a few more points. So I'm going to do three or four different um, rows of stitches in total to make sure that this hair really is secure and does not move. And every time I finish a row of stitches I just comb the hair down, make sure it's all covered. So I ended up with something like this, I ended up braiding the remaining tail of hair and then I can just fold this into my bun shape and that is the first piece ready. So next I'm going to make my braid and for this I'm using some more hair extensions and some gardening wire. Any wire will work, this was just what I was able to find again. <laughs> so I'm cutting it to the right size, same length as the hair. And then I'm going to simply braid this hair and I'm hiding the wire in one of the strands of hair. So as I braid, as I make my way down, I'm going to make sure that the wire is covered and in the center of one of the, of one of the strands at all times so that you won't be able to see it when this braid is done. So when I come to the end, I am just going to cut off the excess of wire and tie this off with a little hair elastic. Now last thing I'm going to do is cover this with a bit of pomade as well, again to handle any flyaways, give the hair a nice shine. And then I'm going to again mold this into a pretty little folded shape. So I then attached the bun to the braid or the braid to the bun and I arranged them in a way that looked nice and sewed them both together so that I ended up with something like this. Now next up I'm gonna take some floral decorations. I have some fake flowers here that I'm just cutting up into more usable sizes and arranging on my bun and this will all end up going on top as I apply this. 
Okay, so this is going to go right on top of my head and the rest of my hair, my real hair, I am going to partially curl and partially pull up into a braid right on top of the head here, which is going to hide the base of my hairpiece. So I think I want to do... Yeah, they were very into the triangular parting at this time, so I think I'm going to try and do that. I'm not sure how it's going to work with my bangs. So I have the center here. Okay, so the bangs are a bit of a problem, but I do like the look of this, so I think I'm just going to go for a diagonal parting like this. So then I'm going to separate the fronts of my hair. Both sides, I'm going to go from the parting down to my ear. For the back of my hair, kind of everything else, I am going to pull into a high ponytail. I will deal with all of that later, but first I am just going to curl all of this. So I have a curling iron here, I'm going to use the smallest part of it. I will curl my hair into small ringlets and every time I have a curl, I will clip it up and allow it to cool down so that it's as tight as possible. All right, my hair is curled and setting, so let me just clip that. In the meantime, I am going to take the rest of my hair, all the hair that I have in the back here, and I am going to braid this. So I'm gonna use this braid to cover the base of my hair piece. Now I'm gonna take my hair piece. I'm going to pin that down right in front of my braid. I'm gonna try and just use bobby pins and hope that that holds, hope that it's strong enough. And if not, I'm gonna have to try something else, but I'd be really glad if this works because it's the simplest way to attach this. I'm gonna take this out because that's actually giving me the most trouble. Start with just the hair first. So I think I'm actually just gonna attach this flower bit straight to my scalp with a bobby pin as well because it's rather heavy and if I stick it into the hair piece I don't think it's gonna hold. Okay so next I'm gonna go in with my braid, my real hair braid and I'm gonna go around the hair piece and the flowers and disguise all of the little attachment bits that I have. This flower is too long actually just gonna cut that a little bit shorter and hope I don't cut any hair. There we go. So I'm just gonna attach this braid with bobby pins. And I'm also incorporating that little end braid that I made at the end of this hair flap thing. <laughs> There's a word for that. It's called a something something knot. I should actually look that up before this video is over. Because we've attached the hairpiece in front of the base of my ponytail, it's actually being held up by that partially. I did tilt my camera up, but it's still too low. Wait, let me move here a bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick in a few of these smaller floral bits. I have some foliage here. I have some little flowers. And I wanna do a big flower down here as well. For this, I'm gonna take out all of my pins, let down my curls. Not let them down too much, actually, because we want these to be as small and tight as possible. Okay, 
Okay, I'm not gonna touch these too much, just gonna make sure you can't really see my partings anymore and my scalp doesn't really show. So we don't want that, but other than that, I'm actually really happy with the way these look as they are. I'm still not completely in frame, let me just move you back even more. I thought 18th century hair was the biggest hair I've ever done. Not anymore. This is by far the highest hairstyle I have done. It is definitely among the most glorious. I absolutely love this. I wish it was still socially acceptable to go out like this. Socially desirable even, because it definitely was back in the day. This is absolutely fabulous. It was a little bit of a challenge, but definitely not impossible. Um, I did it in one afternoon, pretty much, once I had my supplies. It wasn't that hard or complicated or time consuming. Well, a little bit. Yeah, no, it is time consuming. That was a lie. I say the results are well worth it. Okay, but that does bring us to the end of this video. I am done. I'm gonna take a few photos now. <laughs> So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content and historical hairstyling of all shapes and sizes. <laughs> if you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also... Oh, it's right over there. That I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!